Let's solve this linear inequality. Got 4 times x plus 1 minus 2 times x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 2x plus 3. Step 1, get rid of parentheses. We do this via the distributive property, so I'm going to take the 4, multiply times the x, multiply times the 1. Now I'll take the negative 2 and multiply times the x and times the 2. 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x, negative 2 times 2 gives us negative 4. It's greater than or equal to 2x plus 3. At any step, combine together like terms. 4x minus 2x is 2x. Combine together numbers. 4 minus 4 drops away. Then greater than or equal to 2x plus 3. Step 2, get rid of fractions. Don't have any. Step 3, get everything with an x on one side, numbers on the other. I'll take the 2x over the left side. Remember when you take anything across your inequality, the sign changes. So the positive 2x becomes a negative 2x. Greater than or equal to 3. Combine together like terms in any step. 2x minus 2x is 0. And we get 0 is greater than or equal to 3. Now we have a problem here. We were solving for x and our x disappeared. Well, this is one of our oddball cases. Well, you have to ask yourself, <coughs> when is 0 greater than or equal to 3? Well, 0 is never greater than or equal to 3. Um, so if you come up with something that can't be, that's not true, then it's a no solution. There's no answer. And that's our answer.